Hello guys, I'm back in the Pacha, and today I'm playing the Georgian Hammer campaign. This is originally a Eagle Dynamics campaign for the A10, which I haven't played, but somebody did some magic, and now it's a Apache campaign, which is pretty cool, having a campaign a proper campaign, campaign to play this quickly after the aircraft, the module got released in early access. This is the second mission. The first one was just fly around and look around, which isn't very entertaining. And it's. There you go. This is Razor, awaiting orders. This is Alpha, awaiting orders. I. Death Star, 1 1. This is Uzi, 1 1 2 8 8 64. When I played the first mission, I tried to. Use the cheating start, the auto start, but it failed every single time, so I had to learn how to start it the proper way. And that was annoying. Luckily, it's not too complicated. Let's see, and. But I did find out that you now have to manually fix the radar altimeter. The ground radar. Uh, and I've forgotten how to put low altitude warning on. I remember that last time I did a, a mission in this campaign, but no oh well. And full power fixing that thingy. So yeah, uh, this is the second mission in the campaign. We're giving Tulsa support to uh, assault two Abram columns and other assorted American equipment will lead an assault on the city and we will give them some backup. I've done this mission several times. Let's see here. Oh, come on. Come on. And there you go. The helmet is poor sighted. I've done this mission several times. A couple of times I just got shot down, which is fine. I'm bad at this. A couple of other times I had gameplay problems because just getting all the fast movers to attack now. Although the A10 isn't really a fast mover, it is faster than a, a Pacha. Um And since trying to get OpenXR to work in DCS has become a fad of late, I decided I was going to try it. There were promises of superior performance, and quite frankly it's just fucked up everything for me. So I'm... Another off, there we go. And let's oh. Well, this is awkward. I dropped the mouse and uh, stuff like this happens. And the window is out of focus. There you go. Sorry for the technical difficulties here. And there you go. So yeah, I have horrible, horrible performance now with the OpenXR. Uh, oops, that's not a pretty takeoff. That's not a pretty takeoff. Let's try not to hit those rotors there. 
and I have to turn off motion projection because right now I'm just flying without it because it makes everything run shit, really, really shit. ready with the hellfire. Now let's fly. This is a long mission. I'm gonna try and cut some of the travel time away in the editing. It's not very long, I don't know, maybe it's five minute travel time? Something like that. Maybe not even that. It feels long though. I'm quite sure if I flew an Apache for five minutes in real life it wouldn't feel very long. And we're doing a turn. I'll see you when I get closer to the objective. train tracks trying to catch that train probably completely unnecessary to do this low level flying You know, it's fun. If you're flying a chopper, why not fly low? That's the point, right? And this is a really nice, stable chopper. When you're flying 100 plus knots, it's quite pleasant. And this is where I get off the line. a few times I have a week nope, that's wrong let's get the armored columns moving Things are. 
I do know they'll blow me out of the sky with their little barrel fired missiles. Uh, the T 80s, at least, maybe even the T 72s can do it, but at least the T 80s does it. This is not a particularly easy mission when you're a bad pilot. I don't know, maybe it's easy if you're a good pilot, but. Are having trouble with this mission. There's heat seeking missiles fired from a barrel of tanks. There's AA fire. And it's really hard getting George to find the enemy in the trees slash buildings. He's really bad at this. You want to know quite well where they're hiding. I'll point my monocle at them. And get him to slew it, but he rarely finds stuff. He's really good at finding our allies though. He wants me to wants to blow up those Abram tanks really quite quite hardly. I have discovered though from the four or so tries previously, two of them ended in exploding choppers and three of them ended in horrible, horrible performance, that going over the top of this little hill and down into the open ground is not a good idea. The tanks will get ya. So I'm gonna stay down by the coast here and try and use the buildings. There's a couple of tall buildings over there that I'll use for cover. And slaving. Deslaving. See, now I wanna blow up our tanks. No, those are our tanks, George. Bad George. Very bad George. Psychopathy is. trying to get this bird slow and stable at the same time, which I'm really bad at. I know there are baddies over there. He can't find shit. Propeller 1. That's a new thing. After the latest Apache patch, which also meant you had to manually activate the altimeter. Red Altimeter has also made him wanna lock onto our own propellers, I think. There's something propellerish, I think, is wanting to blow up. building over there, kind of as a cover. I know from the last time I attacked from this direction, our fast movers will agitate Slaving. the Slaving. ground forces that will try to shoot at them, and I can see the tracers, so hopefully I can point George in the direct propeller one. Jet one. Why do you want to lock onto a propeller one? <sighs> you need to stop doing drugs, George. Seriously, it's a problem. You can't be in the army and do drugs. At least not those kind of drugs you're doing. This isn't Vietnam, George. 
Uh, now, if George can only find stuff, that would be really nice. I know there's plenty of enemies not far in front of us. And sleeping. Placed and stored. I don't know what the fuck you locked onto now. There's some firing. And deslaving. Well, also some shooting over there. There's some baddies in that Slave. direction. There's a lot of trees there, George. But they're quite trigger happy, these guys. Oh, taking fire already. And placed and stored. We're taking fire from over there, George. Wanna shoot them? Wanna shoot the people that wanna shoot us? <sighs> and placed and stored. Nope, he just doesn't. Placed we are stored. taking fire, George. Please. God damn it, George. Target stored. Slave. And deslaving. You're getting it. You're gonna get us killed, George. and stuff on auto simply because I am usually too busy to do it manually I know they will often just fire off when friendlies are near and firing but you know better to be a bit trigger happy with the flares than getting one of those barrel missiles from the T-80s George, can you, can you lock on those guys? Come on, George. They're firing at us. There's a tank. Can you shoot the tank? Oh, shit. George. Fire, George. Fire, please. Oh man, we're taking a lot of fire here. Oh shit, 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 shit. Target is stored. That was a BMT, I think. So no wonder my guns didn't work on him. But George refused to actually fire at him. The chopper is feeling a bit odd. Come on, there's a there's a tanky thingy over there. You're useless, George. You and flew past it. Gotta know where it is. Engaging. Let's just fire randomly into the trees there. Maybe we will hit it randomly. <sighs> Chopper feels strange. Now we're in the middle of a shooting zone. Flight. I don't see my wingman. Where the hell is he? There's a lot of fires. There's one, two. Where the hell is that thing? I don't know where it is. Ooh. 
That was something at least, I don't know what it was, but it blew you up here. And there's a nice juicy Russian column. Let's strafe. Oh, look at it. Lined perfectly up. I just need to hit now. Stuff is burning. Guns, guns, guns. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That's a nice strafe. That, w that was a lot of kills. Now let's see if we can find something else to blow up. I don't have much gun left. But I have both rockets and hellfires. Let's see if George can actually do his job. It's strange. Last time I did this mission, when oh, that's stuck under here. My flares went off. Oh, look at that smoke from that column I shot up. Nice. That was satisfying. Too bad a track file will never work. That would have been awesome to watch. Ooh. That's an A10 or something. Anyway, last time I did this mission when the performance just tanked, so I got 10 FPS and ended up crashing because of it. I did actually manage to get George to fire off and take out two T80s, actually. Which was nice. performance isn't exactly good now either. I'm flapping around at around 30 FPS. I don't know if this is alive or whatever, but you know. Shoot and shoot. Let's not crash in that power line. I'm trying to get the. I'll probably have to fire soon. I'll never know if the flares saved my ass or if I'm just wasting them. Trying to fly this beast while getting the guns to work, I don't remember which. Oh, now it's suddenly working again. Oh, even more flares? I hope it's just the A10 or my wingman doing some firing and it's not actually someone trying to kill me. If that's the case, I have no idea where they are. Can you find something to shoot at, George? And You're quite useless, George. Slaving. Nope. I'm feeling really vulnerable there. to get rockets selected here. Come on, come on. I'm so bad at this. Don't crash. Don't crash. Okay, we got co-op rockets. It's the only way I know how to get the rockets to work. 
pantalon. Non, gun. Some shit up. Gun lost. Pausing Alpire. Pausing rockets. Come on. Blazed and stored. Come on, George. And Just fire that shit. That's where the tank is, and I don't know if we actually blew up the tank. Why well, is only my right firing? Strange. I must have done some stuff with the. Uh, settings there. I don't know what I'm doing. Is my altimeter stuck? I'm pretty fucking sure I'm over a hundred feet in the air now. Now you wanna blow up our stuff again. No, don't blow up our stuff. Those are friendless, George. Goddamn psychopath. And again. Wait, there's something. That's alive. And I wanna slaving. blow up that shit. Deslaving. Now we know where it is, George. Can you shoot it then? I'm gonna line up the ship here. go. That's it, George. I think. Yes, that's the one. Fire. And why won't you fire? Come on, it's out in the open. Try to back up, that's not easy. And why is my radar altimeter stuck on the hundred? Probably because of all the bolts it got. Why won't you fire, George? Come on, George. Okay. I didn't see it get hit. What the fuck is going on? Slave, no, those are ours. Well, it blew up. I don't know what the fuck happened there. Invinc invisible missiles? I don't know. It blew up. That's the important stuff. Maybe our ground units took it out. That might be it. He said good effects though. I hope it didn't blow up any of our people. I think we're heading home. We're out of flares. We're mostly out of guns. And they apparently can't hit anything with a uh, hellfires. And slaving. Okay. 
Let's go home. I love rockets. No, not rockets. Wasn't gun. <sighs> How many hellfires did we actually fire? Two or three or something? Not a lot. Oh, shit. Oh, one side isn't as the other. There I have my little stubby wings. There I have nothing. Well, fuck. I think we took some fire, George. Yeah, I think we took some ground fire. Fuck me. Well, we're home again. And I'm pretty damn sure I'm still at a hundred feet above the ground now. God damn. Poor little stubby wing got blown clean off. Well, it is a titanium tub. We're pretty much, much proven that now. No wonder I thought it felt a bit strange, or the fact that it only fired from one side with rockets. We don't have the other side with rockets. This is coming out of our pay, George. We're never gonna be able to pay this down. We're gonna be wage slaves for the US Army until we're 120 or something. This is not good, George. If you had just fired when I asked you to fire instead of trying to insist on us blowing up our own Abrams, things would have been good, George. I admit I'm not the best pilot, but seriously, George. Shoot the enemy, not our guys. T-72s, T-80s, T-90s, BMPs, etc. Not Abrams, not Strikers, not Bradleys. I hope you learn that until next time. You know what, I'm just gonna park right here. Uh, seriously, this bird doesn't feel right. Oh, oh, let's not crash into that thing. Now, how do you make it go on the ground? I haven't actually learned how to taxi this thing, I just take off. We're just... Oh, uh, nope, doesn't want to go anywhere. Oh well, see you later guys. Mission success. Look at those little stubby wings. Oh no.